Hey, what's up? This is Mike. I play bass in the band Hinder. I'm going to show you my stuff. Uh, first off, I play the bass. Um, I'm endorsed by Spectre. They take good care of me. Give me all the stuff I need. Um, this is a Spectre Coda. Five string, 18 volt active. Um, it's got kind of a, it's a single coil pickup, so it's got a bit of a different sound than uh, the ones that I normally play. But this is my main bass on this run. Um, I use it on every song except for one. On this bass and pretty much every bass that I use, I crank everything all the way up. I got two uh, pickup knobs, so you can blend it however you want, but I crank them all the way. Uh, low, mid, high. Um, it's a, it's, you can go passive or active on this one, but I, use, I leave it on active. Um, crank the tone knobs all the way. Um, five string. I uh, play a 135 to 55 gauge, um, it's Ernie Ball, they endorse us and take good care of us. Um, strings usually last about three shows, on average I like to switch them, um, just to keep them fresh and clean and sounding good. Um, yeah, there's my strings for my main bass, 135 to 50, not 55, sorry about that. So Spectre has, and I'll show you my other one as we're going here. Um, Spectre, I picked up that endorsement in 2005 when we did the first record. Um, our bass tech in the studio was Mike from Nickelback's bass tech and he plays Spectres and he has forever. Uh, so he got me the hookup with him and I started talking to PJ and yeah, they've been part of the family since, you know, pretty much day one. And <laughs> there for a while I was buying like a bass a month. So I have, I probably have 22 of these things. Um, different models, stuff like this. This, uh, I play this bass on Life in the Fast Lane. It's a cover. Um, I transpose everything down to a C tuning, drop C tuning, but on that particular song, I need an open D, so I have to do a drop D tuning for that song. Um, so yeah, this is a, a Euro model. It's made in the Czech Republic. Um, but what I have them do is I have them put in the USA electronics, because I like the way that the USA sound um, they're a little more, a little more clean and punchy um, than the Euro pickups. They're both good, but I just prefer that one. So I have them customize that before they send it to me. Um, yeah, same gauge strings, Ernie balls. So yeah, this is also an 18 volt active. This is a drop C, so just straight. Um, so it's C G C F, and I use an A sharp on top um, because in one song I need an A sharp. Doesn't really make sense, but that's how I do it. Um, and then this one is just um, drop D tuning, so standard drop D. Um, the other guy's playing multiple different tunings. Um, uh, there for a while I was switching every song, a different bass, because I wanted to play in different bass every time. But after a while it gets kind of tiresome and old and, you know, it's too much gear out on the road, really. Um, it was fun for a while, but so I just decided to transpose everything to drop C. And so I just play everything in that tuning, whether they switch or not. So I'm, I just make it work. I, I do use a pick on the first song. I ran out last night. They're coming in tomorrow. Uh, so, but it's, it's pretty much like uh, Mark's here. Has our logo on it. Uh, has my signature on the back, that's Rails. Mine's a glow in the dark. So when I, I I'll hold it up in front of a light or something and it glows, I'll throw it out. I have a bunch to throw out, but I don't use them very often. I just use them on that first song. The rest of it, I use my fingers. As far as my rig goes, um, I haven't played a live amp, except for on fly dates, in a really long time. Um, for a while, I was using a preamp, a uh, Mesa Boogie preamp. Um, but probably nine years ago, uh, the same bass tech that uh, hooked me up with Spectre uh, introduced me to this Harky pedal right here. It's a Harky Bass Attack 1. Um, Mike from Nickelback used that in conjunction with his amps and everything else. Um, so I decided to give that a try. Uh, we use it. It gives it a really dirty, crunchy, uh, just kind of a gnarly sound to it. Um, and since then, I've just gone straight through that wireless to this, to the board out front. And it sounds great. I mean, it's, it's a dirty, raunchy bass sound and it kind of, it fills up the, the mix a little bit, you know. So. Um, they actually don't make these anymore. Um, so I got online and I bought every one I could find because you know eventually they're gonna crap out on you and if you can't find them anymore, 
you're kind of screwed. I haven't tried the base attack two yet. Um, eventually I probably will have to, but I know that I like the one, so I stick with the one. And I got, I think I got three left after this one. Audio Technica does our wireless. Um, a lot of guys like to be on leashes. We like to move around a lot, so wireless is a very, you know, helpful thing to have. Um, we very rarely have any kind of problems with it, so it's a nice clean tone. Um, gives you the freedom to run around. You don't get tangled up with everybody else. Um, so it's, it, that's just a bonus, you know, for me to have that. Whenever I got to be on a leash, it's kind of you got to watch where you're going and you got a cable. So that's that's a great thing to have on a live show. We use the Sennheiser uh, in-ear packs and the units over there. Um, we all have, we've had different in-ear models um, throughout the years, um, so a lot of us have different ones. Um, I have the UE's, Ultimate Ears, um, and I believe this is an eight driver. Um, yeah, being that we don't have amps on stage, um, this, it fills the sound to where it feels like we do have amps on the stage, so um, this is a really good model for me. Um, some of the other ones are different in their tones and their, how they fill up the mix. Um, but yeah, not having a, a rig on deck, you got to have a good set of ears so that it's not just like a, you know, a lifeless tone. You got to have a little bit of bottom end in them so that you can feel it, what you're playing. Um, so yeah, the UEs work for me. Hey, so yeah, this is Mike Hinder, bass player. Um, got a new single out called Halo. Check it out. You can find all of our stuff on Hinder Music at all of the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, our website. Um, check out the website or Facebook for shows near you. We'll be touring forever, so we'll see you.